All right, so Perplexity introduced deep research yesterday, and it is pretty good. One of the key use cases that they mentioned where deep research would be very useful is stock analysis, you know, portfolio analysis, risk assessment, besides product research and marketing. So I decided that let me create a workflow automation or, you know, if you want to call it an agent that can basically assess my complete portfolio and tell me which of the stocks or crypto investments in my portfolio are exposed to executive orders. Now, these executive orders are basically policies that have been launched and signed by the government. So welcome to day 15 of the 28 day AI automation challenge, where I'm going to show you how to create this risk assessment agent that will check your complete portfolio. You can, you know, sign it off every single day if you want or week or month. And what will this do? It will simply look at all the executive orders passed recently and it will check your portfolio for the stocks that might have some exposure due to these executive orders. All right, so I have created an interface for this deep research. This is my risk assessment agent. I'm going to show you what this actually does under the hood. So this is going to analyze the stock portfolio against the latest executive orders that were passed by the uh, Donald Trump uh, administration. So basically since January 20, 2025. Now all I need to do here in this interface is uh, pick a file. So upload your portfolio. So I have created this dummy portfolio for this example, okay, which has uh, some stocks, some crypto investments and all of these details. So this is what the portfolio looks like. It's a dummy portfolio, okay? And uh, it contains all the common US stocks and uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of these investments. Now, all I need to do is submit and run this flow. Meanwhile, I'll also show you, I've done the same thing here also. I have provided the details of my portfolio to Perplexity's deep research. So this is currently showcasing that deep research mode is on. Now, all I need to do is, you know, specify my requirements. I have uploaded the file. You can see the myportfolio.pdf. This is uh, the file that I've uploaded, same file, basically. And this is the report generated by Perplexity Deep Research. Okay, so key executive orders. So first of all, it has uh, specified what were the key executive orders that were released, that was signed uh, by the administration that came out. And here I have the complete risk assessment report where CME group financial services likely to benefit from deregulation. Okay. Uh, block incorporation fintech payments. So positioned well with the push for innovation in financial technology. The sector is highly sensitive to regulatory changes. Marathon digital holdings. Okay. NVIDIA. While AI initiatives are beneficial, the potential for increased scrutiny regarding ethical AI practices could pose risks. Crypto holdings. So basically, it has given me a, a report that tells me how my portfolio is going to be impacted by the executive orders. All right, let's look at what is happening in this workflow. First of all, this is the interface that I've added. This is the interface node. It basically captures the file and passes it on to file reader. Here, I'm reading the PDF file, extracting all the content. Once I have extracted the content, I give it to this AI web research node. So this is a new addition in the Gumloops uh, family of nodes, you can say. And I'm using this interface, by the way, as you all know, if you're following the series, I'm using Gumloop for all of these automations. Now, the prompt that I provided is analyze the provided stock and crypto portfolio, conduct research on all the executive orders published since January 20, basically same thing. And uh, here it has generated a dynamic input, which is my stock portfolio document. That's it. It returns all of these things, negatively impacted companies, gives you executive orders that have been passed. So this I don't think is working correctly. I can show you the results from here. Uh, so, there we go, I think, yeah. So if you look at the output, these are the executive orders. So it has picked one, but uh, it has looked for three. So there are three relevant articles that it has first of all figured out where executive orders were uh, passed. And all these citations, the URLs, I have further captured them, okay, 
Uh, one is the report that I'm getting from web research, which is primarily something that I'm using to get good results, good sources. That's all. That's what I am using web research for. Then I'm scraping the content because I want more control and more conviction in my analysis. That's why I'm scraping the content of all of those uh, uh, executive orders and then putting my exposed stocks against the executive orders and then asking AI to now do the analysis against all those negatively impacted stocks and give me a report, a reasoning for why my stocks are exposed. And this further generates a report and this is what my report actually looks like. Now I can capture this complete report every single day, every morning, in my Slack itself. So here you can see the complete report. Okay, executive order portfolio exposure report, date October, okay, stock assessed executive order exposure. So it basically analyzes all the stocks that are negatively impacted, gives you a complete report along with some recommendation and uh, issues, uh, the reasoning for why we are saying that these are going to be negatively impacted. I personally, I personally feel that this particular part, this section over here, uh, and this type of report is more beneficial. I think my report where I have more control over the prompting and how I want the results, uh, this would perform slightly better. Uh, again, I'll have to analyze and I'll have to do the research myself, uh, conduct this sort of experimentation on multiple portfolios before I can comment, but I personally feel that with this particular example that I picked, I was thinking that perplexities, deep research would give me better results, but I kind of liked uh, the output that I created for myself using this automation. So I can have it in my Slack or output it and you can look at it within the UX, the interface here. So all of the report, Solana, Ethereum, the exposure, positively exposed because of section 2a which defines digital asset refers to any digital representation of value that is recorded on a distributed ledger including cryptocurrencies so that's that's what we have that's the complete report and uh, i personally feel i have created an agent that works slightly better than perplexity deep research and i have more control over it i can do it every single day without having to upload my portfolio every single day yeah all right i hope you found this useful perplexity gives you you know good results but uh, if i want to automate this stuff if i want you know regular uh updates on this that's what agent is all about, you know, making your life easier so that you get you are always on top of your stock portfolio and you know what to do next. So I'm going to be integrating this with my previous stock analysis. It will basically become a big agent that looks into income statement balance sheets and whatnot, you know, and at the same time, it's doing sentiment analysis, uh, going through all the news articles that might affect your portfolio, your investments. So stay tuned. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel to never miss a video in this series and the upcoming content that we are going to release soon. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. Like the video, comment down below what other variations you would want me to automate for you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, day 16.